Yo, 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 what up? This is Scoozy, and I'm back with a brand new episode of Scoozy Plays Foolcraft. Now, today's episode, I want to cover uh, a couple mods, mainly um, the Architecture Craft, um, Chisel and Bits, Chisel, Colossal Chest, and Refined Storage. Now, that's a mouthful, so let's get started. Okay, first things first, I want to show you the new base. So, we have uh, light blue concrete walls. We have this cool cobblestone, which is done with uh, one of the two chisel mods. Um, so, if you go in here and you type in chisel, you will see diamond chisels here, and then diamond chisel uh, down here. This diamond chisel is from Chisel and Bits. This one is from Chisel and they both have a good purpose like um, this chisel in my hand you can put uh, when you right click it you can put uh, cobblestone or any other material in and see all the different variants that will give you, give you nether cobblestone um, and then you just pick one and uh, it will change your whole stack you can change them back but one of the other really cool features is if you put something like concrete you can pick between the 16 different colors so all you need is one die source and you have access to um, all of the colors of concrete in the game which is kind of really helpful uh, with the chisel and bit mod you can do things like um, the little sconce here for these super awesome glowstone balls um, glowstone balls you use the architecture craft mod as you can see and this is done with chisel and bits and uh, yeah they look really nice here the architecture mod will also let you make stairs or slabs out of any material as well as a lot of other cool shapes um, these here are basalt that I've used with the chisel um, and yeah, so uh, I'm going to show you really quickly how we go about making those. So this is the Architect saw bench. Um, it's very, very easy to make. Um, if you go and you do the recipe search for it, uh, a couple iron ingots, some sticks, a wooden pressure plate, a large pulley, and a circular saw blade. The large pulley is just planks and sticks, and the circular saw blade is just a couple iron ingots around a stick. So it's very simple to make. Uh, totally worth it. I'm about to get hit by a spider here. I can hear him. There he is. Dead. Okay, so um, you have all the different roof pieces, rounded pieces, uh, things like pillars, uh, window casings, uh, arches, railings, and then the stairs and slab section, which is really cool. The stairs don't act like vanilla stairs. You have to build your own corner pieces or inside corner pieces, but that's not that difficult. Uh, so if we come up here to rounded and then put in a material like glowstone, um, you can get a glowstone sphere, and that's really cool. So then to make the support, uh, what you want to do is you want to use your uh, diamond chisel from the chisel and bits mod, and this has a cool feature. So if I put down a piece of concrete, and then uh, alt left alt will bring up this menu for the different options for your chisel and if you set for same material and then you um, left click a block of concrete you will get uh, a ton of little bits um, of that concrete block see like a, just a ton of them um, and you're gonna wanna make yourself a bit bag like this to collect all of them which is very easy to make. It is one single bit of anything that you got and then wrap it around with wool. Uh, I'm actually probably going to make several more of these in my time. But uh, anyways, so then I'm going to put my ball up and then this is how you can line it up to make sure that when you are building um, it'll work in when you go ahead to use your creation. So go ahead and just like right click with uh, the bits on your hotbar and get them all in place and there we all they're they're all placed now uh, it can get a little meticulous but you can make really cool things like that uh, that you're not going to get um, with any of the other things I mean maybe you could use a fence post but um, yeah so that's pretty cool so as I said build it on um, a two block like a block structure and then you'll know okay it's centered in the block it's centered this way, it touches the bottom of the ball, everything fits perfectly. And then you're going to want to make a pattern. So here we are, and uh, you have your various uh, chisel designs. There's positive, negative, and mirror. So this is um, for like if you want to make a pattern that carves something out of a block, 
and this right here is with if you want to make like a positive kind of object so as you can see it's a lapis a water bucket and a piece of paper they're super easy to make um, I guess I should just make one so then when it's in your inventory you come over and you want to right click it and then it's written you can see the there it's got the, the graphics on it now um, so if we have uh, let me see here now I'm sure there's a more efficient way to do this uh, I haven't played around with it too much but uh, this is the way I, I, I've, I've got it to work so far um, you place a block where you want your pattern um, and then you can see it highlighted in there and depending on your angle you can get it to turn different ways like that so then uh, you right click it again and it'll take away all the blo uh, the bits except for the ones that are involved in your pattern so that's how you build a couple of those like I said I'm sure there's a better way to do this and if you know what that is please tell me down in the comments alright so there's a basic primer into the architecture mod that we use to make these and these and chisel and bits that we use to make these and then also this chisel which you use to make different variant textures on blocks such as cobblestone and uh, you can actually do this um, on already placed blocks so you can go into like a natural cave with your diamond chisel and just uh, right click through different options um, and kind of texture your stone that way sorry for the nether portal noise that's just really frustrating um, yeah and there's no durability on this so you could do that through an entire cave it's pretty amazing um, these little alcoves I'm gonna eventually make some chisel and bit statues for that but I haven't done it yet uh, so down here I want to show you this is my colossal chest uh, I think this is needing needing more power yeah so I'm gonna work on a better power system for that but um, that's the colossal chest and this crafting grid uh, sorry if you have epilepsy, um, will contain all the items that are in this chest which we have yet to fill. But what I'm going to do is hop into a creative world and show you all about this and this because the original footage that I recorded, uh, I had a bit of an audio issue and my mic kept uh, peeking out and that's really frustrating to listen to I know so I scrapped it all and I'm re-recording. Um, yeah, so let me hop into a creative world and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, here we are in creative world. So you are going to need a setup like this, um, some sort of power source. I'm using a magmatic generator connected to an iron drum full of lava, and then a fluid conduit, conduit connects, and then just make sure that you come down here and turn this on to uh, always active and extract from the barrel, and then on this end, insert into the generator. You can also um, add a capacitor if you want and then you need to connect this to a controller well I don't know if you need to but I found that it works when you do this way and I had troubles with the the other ways that I tried and then you're gonna to want to build a solderer um, a pulverizer and an alloy smelter and the pulverizer will let you get silicone out of sand which is I'm pretty sure as far as I can tell the only way to get silicone let me see here so there's silicone ore, which I haven't found any of yet, but I'm sure it's there. Silicone ingot you make from the ore. Printed silicone and silicone all come from that. So the Ender I.O., I'm not entirely sure how to do that one. But uh, anyways, if you put sand in here, it will uh, get you the silicone. And then silicone and the sol solderer will get you things like... Boom, printed silicone and then you can mix these with other components and you're gonna get basically this is how you do all of the stuff that you need for your um, electrical uh, dealies and to make fluid conduits you need to make some uh, really clear glass so you smelt three pieces of glass into one really clear glass and you'll you'll need that anyways that's all in the crafting recipes just just use the search thing what's important to know is you're gonna need a pulverizer, an alloy smelter, a solderer, a creative controller, and then a power source. So over here is our colossal chest almost. I have to put a couple more pieces in here and then this is the grid that we're going to use to access it. So you need um, to do these, use, build with these chest walls um, and you can do them out of many different materials. Uh, yeah. So you can make them out of wood, copper, iron, uh, silver, gold, or diamond, 
and the same size chests uh, wood will hold the least iron will be somewhere in the middle and diamond will hold the most and then they also increase uh, in capacity based on the size you build them um, everyone needs a colossal chest interface well they don't need that that's how you can uh, you know transport items in and out various through various other mods is through an interface um, and then they do need a chest core. So to make the chest core, uh, you basically, uh, I can't get any of the crafting recipes in here. Um, anyways, just check it out, it's super easy. Uh, I believe this uses an iron block, um, and then this one uh, is like cobblestone around your chest wall. Um, so anyways, I'm going to pop one of those in there pop one of those in there and then I'm going to grab one of these one of these and one of these because I think these can't be on here oh did I forget to do the top <laughs> yeah I did forget to do the top so we'll just fill this in real quick uh, you can leave the whole thing hollow but the bigger you go the more blocks the chest walls you're gonna need so you can start out small like do like a 3x3 three uh, of wood and then just increase it as you uh, get richer okay now why didn't that work this time do these things not work in creative um, Maybe those can't be side by side. Maybe they can't be on the same side. Hmm. Well, I'm willing to bet this has something to do with uh, being in creative mode because. Um, This definitely, oh. this definitely worked in my survival world. Um, yeah, not entirely sure, but anyways, build it like that. Make sure that you have the um, the core on the side that you want the front of your chest, because uh, these will look like a normal chest, uh, just huge. Um, but the little buckle or like the latch will be on the front or the side that you put this on uh, so just think about that when you're building it and then this is where you have to access everything uh, to connect to here so put this in a convenient location as well and what you want to do is you want to plug your external storage into it and uh, this isn't going to work because this is not turning into a chest for whatever reason but then your network receiver on here take your network card right click on that receiver and that sets your network card and then when you come over here you go into the back of your transmitter and you put in your card and it tells you how far away it is 10 blocks from here to there and now this will access the external storage but the external storage has nothing in it because this chest is empty um, so this is basically just another controller another power source uh, the transmitter with the network card inside it and your grid so that is it if we go in here and we just get a chest, uh, yeah, like that, and put it in there, and then let's put a bunch of this stuff in here that we don't need, like that, and then you can come over here, and there it is, and then you can craft with this stuff, like right out of here, uh, whatever you, you know, <laughs> yeah, cool, right? And then you can make yourself a wireless crafting grid and carry it in your inventory and then access your giant chest from anywhere. Um, and when you go to link your tools, like your uh, alamite tools that teleport stuff to a chest, you need to uh, pair them to this core. Uh, anywhere else doesn't really work. Um, so that, that's how I set up my big old chest. So let's dive back in there and uh, you know we'll see how it works. So yeah, there's mine in all its glory. Um, I still need to work on increasing the power output so that this thing doesn't flicker on and off, on and off, on and off constantly. Um, 
but yeah, that's no big deal. I can work on that. I can upgrade my generator. Um, but yeah, uh, all that's left to do is, like I said, upgrade my generator so this stops happening and then load everything into that chest and we are good to go. So uh, I'm gonna play some clips that I had recorded earlier and there may be a tiny bit of overlap, but like I said, I had to re-record like 80% of this um, episode because of audio issues. So hopefully this time around, it's a lot better. And um, yeah, check out uh, the stuff I recorded earlier. Okay, so we got it all powered up now. And I changed up the design a little bit to keep the border solid. I just moved the transmitter down there. Um, and then there is a capacitor bank running the controller. And I moved the controller up one so you could see this cool, like, whatever you want to call it, this multicolored uh, pattern that's going on because some of the blues kind of match with the blue in our wall. And same with the screen of the crafting grid. So now we're able to grab stuff out of that chest, which right now is just just cobblestone and uh, yeah we can make it into uh, whatever we need right here on this crafting grid and also if we uh, build one of these wireless grids um, we can keep that in our inventory and then we'll have a portable one of these so that is super cool wherever we are in the base or near if we're out on a little bit of an adventure uh, we'll have the ability to craft stuff with things in this chest at home uh, which will really help with our inventory space. So yeah, I'm going to pop downstairs and I'll show you uh, what we did. Here we are underneath, and if you right-click here uh, on the external storage, it'll show you I'm storing 852 of 1.1 million items. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, you can go through here um, and do all kinds of filtering for your storage. It's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, 1.2 million items, and that's in the 7x7 seven seven iron colossal chest. If this was diamond, it would hold more, and if we upgrade to, like, say, 10x10, 10 10, it will uh, exponentially grow what we can hold in there. Okay, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, I hope you learned a little bit about the Chisel and Bits mod, Chisel, Architecture Craft, Refined Storage, Colossal Chests, uh, and at least enough that you can go ahead and start setting up your own refined storage system um, and playing around with a bit of the more decorative mods in this mod pack. Uh, if you did like this video or if it helped you at all, inspired you, please do me a favor and thumb wrestle that like button. Um, it's good motivation for me to keep going and uh, it gives me those warm fuzzy feelings inside. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for today and until next time, this is Scoozy. Say peace! <laughs>